I'm using this under the Fair Use Act, and uh, I guess I'm going to just have to keep showing all these ones that claim to be experts and doctors of theology. I'm just going to have to keep showing that they have no clue of what they're talking about and proving Romans chapter 1 verse 22 correct. These men who believe themselves to be wise will be proven to be fools. Now this is Jimmy Evans who has written himself 18 books and this is Dr. Mark Hitchcock who has a doctorate, supposedly a doctorate, uh, from a seminary school, and he has even uh, been a professor. He has taught other pastors. This is what the, the people are learning. These are the ones that people are learning from. Do you understand how incredible that is? So let's go into uh, just a snippet. This was only a short video they did, but let's Let's go into the discussion about it, and let's hear what Mr. Jimmy Evans and Dr. March Hitch Hitchcock has to say about the Ukrainian and Russian events. First of all, give your perspective, just as an end times expert, what do you think the significant... Notice that. Jimmy Evans calls him an end times expert. Let's see if he is an expert. This is of what Vladimir Putin... And Russia is doing right now. What do you think the prophetic significance of that is? Well, I think there's a lot of different things, a lot of different angles to it. You know, we, we've covered on endtimes.com a lot about Gog Magog. Uh, this certainly is a preview or a build up to that. You know, what we see in Russia today, the aggression, the expansionism, uh, the vicious nature of their, their uh, uh, attacks is consistent with what the Bible says. Uh, that uh, Russia is going to do in the end times with, with God and Magog when they come down into the land of Israel. Now, that's that's going to be different since they're going to be attacking Israel, but the, this is the build-up to it. And many uh, believe also that Ukraine is part of ancient Magog, which is mentioned in Ezekiel 38 as well. So if Russia is successful in taking Ukraine, that could be you know a, a further part of the setup too to, get, to bring this alliance together. Um, but also, you know, what we see Vladimir... I would almost laugh at this because this man is uh, given the title of a doctor. I would almost laugh at this if had if it was not for the fact that he is one that has mistaught so many people. The same ones are misteaching so many people. They're sitting here discussing and trying to say that Russia. In Ukraine and all these events that are occurring is the beginning of the Gog and Magog war when in fact it is not because these clowns, these foolish men who only believe themselves to be wise didn't bother to read the Bible all the way through and yet he's got a doctorate. Both of these men, he has written over 20 books. Jimmy Evans has written 18, and Dr. Mark Hitchcock has written over 20 books. They have, they're both bestsellers, have best-selling books, and have huge followings as if they're incredibly wise men, and yet, and yet, they did not read the Bible through to see that in Revelations chapter 20, verses 6 through 8, clearly tells us that the battle of Gog and Magog does not occur until the end of the thousand-year reign of Jesus. Yet another group of so-called Bible scholars, and again, he's got the title of a doctor. He's been a professor at a seminary college, even, teaching people things that he himself doesn't know. The clown show just keeps getting bigger. But again, as I pointed out, what it states in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, there would be a great falling away. And these are the ones that are responsible, partially responsible for that great falling away because they were too busy writing their own books and self-glorifying Instead of reading the Bible, taking the time to read the Bible all the way through. 
so that they could learn by the time they made it to the end of Revelation, they could learn themselves that the war between Gog and Magog does not occur until after the thousand year reign of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 20. Read it. Revelation 20. Verses 6 through 8, it clearly states, only at the end. So if consider this, just consider this. If Jesus arrived today, there would still have to be, and we know that Jesus, there would be a, a peace on earth. His reign would be a peace on earth. But so if he arrived today, there would still be a time span of, of a thousand years before this war would even occur. At least a thousand years from today. And these clowns are trying to propagate the idea that this is the beginning of that war. Well, I guess we all missed that thousand year reign that we were supposed to enjoy with Jesus Christ. See how absolutely, incredibly wrong these ones that claim to be wise. And again, these are, are some of the most recognized men in ministry. Some of the most recognized men and didn't bother, clearly, clearly, clearly didn't bother to read the Bible all the way through because they shouldn't have missed the fact that the war between Gog and Magog doesn't occur until the end of the thousand-year reign of Jesus Christ. And yet they missed it, which lets me know. That tells me that they never finished reading the Bible. These are probably other ones that, you know, they were so self-consumed with their own self-glorification, again, writing book after book, they spent too much time writing their own books instead of reading the only book that matters, which is the Holy Bible, the Holy Word of God. Make sure to let people know that all these ones that they might follow and think are godly and wise men, I am easily proving them to be fools, which is Fulfilling the prophecy of Romans chapter 1, verses 22. God bless.